one rail for the turn. Generally adds more difficulty. And again there, that's solid work. tallest gymnast we've seen in the competition to one of the shortest so it's a real advantage on this piece of apparatus when it goes to travel under the bars control from some assault fluent into the handstand he'll pirouette on the end of the bars travel back down see the deviation in the body shape oh lovely height and flight there perhaps our skill Bars, and he certainly has that up into the handstand. Smooth. Needs a big dismount. Double front with a half turn. Well, for me, that's the best routine we've seen. Well, it was absolutely superbly delivered. It looks like it's all come right at the right time. Carlos, you all on parallel bars, Chris. Yes, that was immaculate work, wasn't it? He never deviated from his straight line. He never had to walk backwards and forwards along the apparatus. He's got natural style and strength. It took him a moment to lock out there, but once he had, he was on his way. His balance is very good on balance. I bet he's been good on beam. <laughs> he really can, can balance a handstand, can't he? And beautiful extension through his legs. I mean, he rarely has to deviate much in his body to get under the bars. No, and he uses that to his full advantage, really. Swinging with great freedom. I was saying to Beth earlier on in the studio just how much of a brilliant all-rounder he is and you see him on vault and here he is on parallel bars I mean a completely different piece of apparatus well you would think actually from his statue he wouldn't be any good on bodies but it just proves how powerful a gymnast he is and a superb all-rounder when we when didn't he that was the piece and he fell on high bar so he's no doubt got a bit of work to do he's going to make friends with Max Whitlock <laughs> wouldn't surprise me to see him up there though come Paris not at all Quite something to have taken a silver and then make your mark like this in the parallel bars final. He goes into the left.